the Egyptian, the entire length of the Egyptian civilization, old king. We're talking about pre-dynastic, pre-dynastic, old kingdom, middle kingdom, new kingdom, post kingdom, nothing about a zodiac. Might have something to do with why the Sumerians, Babylonians, a Akkadians, Assyrians, and Hittites didn't have a zodiac either. Yeah, this goes this goes deep, guys. This goes deep. We're unraveling those threads of deception, these major threads of deception that have been woven into the publishing industry and all these popular authors. I'm going to name some of them. Andy Collins, Robert Schock, Robert Bobble, Graham Hancock. They've all worked together, guys. I don't know if all their material is, is misleading. I've read, the, I've read all their material. I don't know if it's all misleading. But I do know that they've all borrowed into this, this material. And it's bullshit. Total bullshit. And what I'm telling you as an assertion right now is not even going to sink into you until we get close to the end of this presentation. When you see for yourself the overwhelming amount of data about the non-existence of the Zodiac. Going through it. Going through it. So we've done, we've done, we've done the, we've done the Near East in in Egypt. There's nothing to find, guys. You can spend your whole life trying to find zodiacal information in Egypt and uh, in uh, uh, the Near East, and all you're going to get in all the encyclopedias and textbooks is say, so, yeah, the Egyptians did know the zodiac. There's a zodiac on the Temple of Dendera, but you got to do a deeper research to figure out the deception. Because the Temple of Dendera wasn't built till 75 to 100 BC. And that was 500 years after the Egyptians were gone. It was built by Macedonian descended Greeks, the Ptolemies, during the Roman period. That means the Zodiac was not Egyptian. So, <clears throat> a real good analogy is. The Saracens and the Arabs took Jerusalem and built the Dome of the Rock in the middle of Jerusalem. But that doesn't mean the people of Jerusalem are Muslim. All right. So, yeah, those are some pretty good facts right there about those epics. So, uh, remember, the Great Wall of China was a Roman it was a Roman project. We've already excluded, we, we have definitively shown what it was. It was the Amazon of the ancient world. Uh, um, Max Egan found, found the old shipping docks and the wharfs and the locks. I mean, he found the things that Martin and I only speculated on. He actually found them. He went to Google Earth, look, you could see underwater all the ancient piers. Listen, at the end of the Great Wall of China, hundreds of ships used to dock and unload their stuff, and it was sent all the way to Rome down the wall, all the way to the Middle East, all the way to the Caspian Sea in, in pieces of this Great Wall. That wall was a Roman construction called the Silk Road. Yeah. The interesting part is, is that construction began around 200 B.C., and most of it was done by 100 B.C., it's 100 years of construction at the exact same time that the Zodiac of Dendera, built by Romans in Africa, was built. At the exact same time, according to Chinese scholars, that the Zodiac was introduced into the Han Dynasty, 100 BC. You just can't make this stuff up, guys. You can't make this stuff up. The Chinese admit that their zodiac, which has 12 signs, which are all very, very different than the zodiac uh, of, of, of uh, the West. Theirs has a dragon in it and snakes and a toad and a turtle and all kinds of things. But you know what? The Chinese zodiac isn't old. Chinese scholars say that it came in it came into existence during the Han dynasty about 100 BC. And we know that's the dynasty that the Romans were doing business with.
Uh, Julie Rogers, we're not going to confuse what I'm talking about, the 12, the 12 house zodiac, with the older lunar zodiac, which did have 13 signs. There, there were many different civilizations that had a lunar zodiac, but it was it's just it came out at the same time as the solar ones did. It had 13 signs because it was lunar in nature. They never were very popular because the moon doesn't conform to that to that system. But uh, they did last for a little while. Some cultures tried to hold out on it, but it just ne it never took like like the twelve the twelve uh, partitioned uh, solar zodiac. They even tried to add a thirteenth one to the solar zodiac called a uh, Ophiocles, the snake, or something like that. I can't remember. It did. It didn't work either. They went back to twelve. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's crazy, guys. China, China admits the they didn't have zodiac in the ancient world. All of a sudden, we had one of the, on the Han Dynasty when they had contact with Rome. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So these things kind of got me to doing some research on India. Because I got several books in here, and I, I'm looking at all this stuff on India. Like, man, what's, what does India say about the Zodiac? Well, I'm going to tell you. The oldest Sanskrit text that we have on astrology dates from 270 A.D. Not B.C., guys. A.D. 17 centuries ago. Now, here's the humdinger. The name of the Sanskrit text from India is called the Yavana Jataka. Yavan Ajataka. These are the two words. I recognize it as two words because I know what Yavan means. Yavan is the same as Javan in the Old Testament and in the book of Jasher. Javan is the ancestral name for the people that we call the Greeks. The name of this text in Sanskrit from 270 AD is Yavan Ajataka, which they say means the sayings of the Greeks. This is, according to Hindu scholars, the oldest Sanskrit text on astrology. It was it was it was knowledge that had been taken from the Greeks. We are told by all these modern authors over and over and over the high antiquity of the Hindu system and how the West borrowed everything. Well, that's not what we're finding at all. We're finding the West invented everything and then exported it out to everybody because that's what the Chinese said. And now that's what the people of India said. Montukla wrote that the Hindu zodiac was borrowed from the Greek. I didn't make that up. I got that from Montukla. Pay attention, guys. We have been told the exact opposite of the truth.